anything about their life. <sighs> Hello. No. Where? Hey, uh, I gotta ask you. I heard you riding in last night with Ricky, and uh, who's that guy? Boozer. His name is William or Bell. I've always just called him Boozer. Don't ask why. I wasn't. I mean, is he gonna be okay? I stopped by to say hi to Addy. He didn't look so good. Yeah, he's gonna be fine as soon as he's patched up. We're, we're riding north. You got that? So just drop it, okay? Damn. Kind of harsh right okay, there. Man. See you later. See you, Blair. Hey. I saw Boozer the other day. Your friend, right? Man, that's pretty messed up what happened to him. Yeah, yeah, it is. I heard it was rivers. Is that true? That did it to him. Yeah, it was Rippers. Look, can we just... Can we not talk about it? Ah, uh, got it. Okay, so we turned in the, the bounties. Uh... I don't think there's any missions here, right? No, no jobs. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hold on. Let's uh, where is it supposed to go again? Ah, oh, shit, man, that's a long fucking way over there. Copeland's camp. Hot Springs. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ride over to Copeland's camp, then we're gonna fill up on gas, then ride over towards the hot springs, and then we're gonna go to um go uh to Sarah's grave. It'll be faster that way. Instead of just riding all the way over there. One full video of me just riding gonna take like two videos and I don't want to do that yeah was it some gas yeah there's some monsters out there uh, life hey Manny yeah, refuel. You don't want to run out of fuel in the shit. That's for sure. All right, check back later. Merchants. Hey, hey Damon. No guns. Not buying today. Stop by any time. So here's the merchant, but he doesn't at least sell a lot of good shit, though. No jobs available. Yeah. How's it going? All right, I like how he says new items, but yet he doesn't really have anything. I still want to keep this one. Starter. Junk condition. Yeah, I don't want to have that. See, he doesn't even sell guns. Like, what? Like, Not what the fuck? Credits. No, it's that your shit is stupid. Good to see you, hey, Damon, how's the gun trade going? Okay. Uh, we'll fast travel over here. So, Mark Copeland, right? Uh, his merchant doesn't really sell a lot of good shit. The shit sucks. Like, really sucks. It's all ass all over there. Just straight up ass. He doesn't sell fucking guns. But he does. But they do sell like supplies. But at Lost Lake they sell guns. I forgot what uh, Hot Springs sells. I think it's a little bit of both. 
We'll find out. It's okay. Lost Link to Deacon St. John. Are you there? Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refused to work for Schizo. <sighs> yeah, something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop. Uh, we've got a job for you. Yeah, okay. Deacon up. Good you're here. Al guy. Let's see. Looking for anything in particular. Okay, so he sells weapons. Oh, he sells some some bomb ass shit right here. Yeah. Primary twenty two repeater. Stinger. Yeah, I mean you see see these are these are some good ones. A little stubby, little shotgun sidearm. Oh, okay, cool, cool, okay. So um Combat shotgun. This combat shotgun can be in pri could be a primary. So instead of me having a pistol, I could just have these. Uh, fuck it. Wait, I don't even have this. Should keep you pretty safe out there. That's a good one. Uh, I'll take this Powerful. one. Good shot. You'll like this one. Oh, uh, these are other primaries too. You can Fuck use it. a gun like that. that Let's right buy there, them all. Good piece. Should keep you pretty safe out there. Special, huh? That's a good one. Uh, supplies. I'm good with with supplies right now. So primary, we're gonna have. Uh, shit. No supposed to say. Especially at close mid range. Nothing fancy, but it'll get the job done. We'll put this one on. Sidearms, definitely I want the shotgun. And I'll keep whatever I got on me right now. Okay, sure. supplies, weapons. All right, I see how it is. So that gun, that assault rifle, well, is not even like. What? I'll see you later, man. I guess it's like not really mine. It's just something that's borrowed, which is okay. That that, that gun has served its purpose. What is this? Oh, that's bounties. Okay. That's bounties. Uh, and I need to drop off food right here. Because so I now got like bear meat and wolf meat here. That's all I got today. Yeah, it's not a lot, but it'll, it'll do for now. I have enough gas to ride up uh, to Sarah's grave. Let me get the gate for you. Thank you. Let's go. I know the the gas canister is right up here. Yep, there it is. Oh, what the fuck? Somebody's having fun. Uh, 
That should be it. Oh shit! Let's see if I could get any scrap from from these vehicles. No, none. Damn. Deacon, you there? Yeah, Ricky, what's up? <laughs> I just wanted to say I I'm sorry about what happened to Boozer. Yeah, probably not as sorry as he is. Look, Addy wanted you to know that if you hadn't brought her that list of knife, Boozer would be in a hell of a lot more pain right now. Yeah, well, it just made it easier for you to carve him up. Anyway, I... We hope he makes it. He's my friend, too, you know? Hey, listen, um... Thanks for bringing us in. Ricky, I gotta go. Deacon out. I don't see any more scrap. Gotta be really freaking careful. Addy, you there? Deacon St. John to Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke! Hey. Uh, feeling a little out of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Boozer. Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh, got tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. You know, he takes so much of his truth or bullshit, you know? Deke, uh, Ad Addie told me how I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Getting the N.I. whatever the fuck's, you know? Uh, Boozer, I, uh... It must have been fun. Uh, hold me down while she fucking whacked away at me. <laughs> Remember how uh, a Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together? <laughs> it kept slipping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, booze man. I remember. I still feel it, you know. Knife. Worse than the rippers. If, if you hadn't been there to, to hold me down, I don't know what would have happened deep. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's done, Boozer. It's done. It's over. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm feeling, feeling a little woozy. Yeah. Uh, hey, Addie's gonna kill me if she finds out you're out of bed fucking around. Yeah, I, I hear a bunk uh, calling my name. Lost Lake signing off. Hey, listen, Boozer. Boop. Shit. Okay. That's good that he's not holding a, a grudge against us. Oh shit! There you go. I don't like the sound of that. Okay, let's go back. Grab our shit. Talk to Sarah. Let's get the fuck out of here. Lake camp, and I know, <laughs> I know. I told you I was never going back there with Iron Mike threatening to break my neck and all, but didn't have a choice. See, Boozer, Boozer was gonna die, and uh, well, he still didn't want to go. Hell, I didn't want to go, but like I said, didn't have a choice. Neither of us did, so it didn't matter. He, um, he lost the arm anyway, and and now he's stuck. I mean. We're stuck. Goddamn schizo. You know, I can't remember if I told you about this clown, but he's the kind of asshole that's glad all this shit went down. <laughs> he says he was uh, gangbanging in Sacramento and Fresno. I don't remember, but he says he's not from around here, and he's, he's not. Claims he was dealing drugs and guns from California to Oregon, and then everything went to hell. And you know what? I think he's full of shit. To me, he kind of looks like a frat boy, like he was on the lacrosse team peddling sodas at a mini mart or no 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 man he would have 
<laughs> he would have had a cushy job at his old man's accounting firm, making copies and getting everyone their morning coffee. You know, making more in a day than I've ever made in a week. You know, it's this game the boozer and I used to play before we rode out of Lost Lake for good. We used to call it, uh, Who You Were. You know, we'd look at someone, we'd try to guess who they were before the shit went down, you know. You know, I met a few drug addicts, a lot of ex-cons, uh, no accountants. So, that makes sense, if you think about it. First couple of weeks after the shit went down, I mean, Jesus, that was a freak show. There's no way some accountant or pencil pusher lived through that shit, so I don't know, maybe it's because I was telling the truth. I'm not sorry that you missed it. I'm not. Anyway, Boozer and I wanted to head north and get away from all this shit, but that, that ain't happening anytime soon, or, or happening ever. Uh, hey, <laughs> look on the bright side. Looks like you're uh, stuck with me. Okay, I'll stop by later. See you.